Hi there, welcome to our kitchen. And today I'm going to be making the dressing for our salad today. And it is a dairy-free green goddess dressing. So it's really simple to make and I've been doing this dressing while I've been doing my demos at Kaiser for the last couple of months. This is sort of the seasonal dressing for the summer. And we're in the late summer now, so normally what I do is I just switch out the greens and I add other things to it that are more seasonal. But the dressing holds up all year long. All you have to do is just look at what's available at the farmer's market for all of your herbs. So with a green goddess dressing, normally you would be using a buttermilk or yogurt. But since this is dairy free, I'm going to be doing some cashews. So I've soaked these cashews for about two hours. Now I'm just going to drain them. Once they're drained, I'm going to add them to a bullet or you can use another high power blender. I like found the tiniest little sieve, so I have to do this in a couple batches. All right, there we are, we're done. Let's see, now I have my acids. I have a little apple cider vinegar that I'm going to use. You could also use some uh, sherry vinegar or just sort of a light vinegar. Champagne vinegar works really well as and then we're gonna do a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to add some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. And you know, you really wanna get a good quality olive oil when you're making your dressings because it just makes the flavor much, much better. And also it's, it's fresh. So I get my olive oil from a really good purveyor and I just love the quality of it. It's very buttery, it's very rich. It's not too grassy and you know, it all depends on what you're you know what you want. If you want something a little more bright and peppery, you can get that kind of olive oil too. So good extra virgin olive oil we'll add in here. And then some Dijon mustard. And you notice that I really didn't add any sweetener to this. A lot of people will add sweeteners to their dressings. I like to see if I can get away with that by just balancing out the other flavors. For me, the apple cider vinegar has enough sweetness in it. And if I feel like it needs a little more, then sometimes I'll add a little slice of apple or something to sweeten it that isn't sugar or honey or maple syrup. Maple syrup and honey aren't terrible, but I mean, you could do a lot better by just not having so much sugar. And I have to tell you, when you make your own dressings, the nice thing about making your own dressings is you know exactly what is in your dressing. and most of our store-bought dressings have poor quality oils, poor salts, and they're also loaded with sugar. In fact, sometimes it's the third ingredient. So it's kind of like putting hot fudge sauce on your salad dressing, not a good idea. So I'm gonna add my herbs now. So I have some fresh parsley. I'm just gonna break it up. And it's about two tablespoons per. And just let me back it up a little bit. I used about a half a cup of cashews that I soaked in water until they were soft. But my ingredient, uh, my ingredient list is in the recipe, which I'll attach to this video. Then I add a little bit of basil. We're gonna add some mint as well. So I'm just putting those mint leaves in. And then one ingredient that really you see in a lot of uh, Green Goddess dressing blends, dill. Dill's kind of that flavor that really comes through. So if you don't have all these herbs, you don't have to use them all. You can make this any way you want. It really depends on your flavors that you love and what you have available. Last thing is a little bit of garlic. We're gonna wedge that in there. And actually that's technically not the last thing. We want a little bit of salt. So I'll put a little bit of salt here, about a quarter teaspoon. I can always add a little more to balance out the flavors and then some cracked pepper. So as you can see, this is not very liquidy. So I'm gonna have to add a little bit of water to bring it all together. So we'll just add about Let's say about three tablespoons of water to start, and then we'll see where it goes. If you want it to be a little thinner, just add a little more water. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little noise, so excuse me for a minute. I love technical difficulties, they're really fun. It's like really great when like you're... <laughs> should be it. So 
Sometimes when I open these or even a jar, I have a little trick for you that's totally not off, off topic here, but totally on topic when you have a trouble opening something. Use one of these little grippy pads. You can get these at Ace Hardware, any hardware store, and you just put it right on the top and then it's easy to open jars and caps. So back to our dressing. Look at that dressing. So this is our green goddess dressing. It's really smooth and silky. I'm gonna pour it into one of these so you can actually see it. And then this will keep in the refrigerator for about four days. So make a batch like this. I have about a little over half a cup here. And then you can just add it to your greens. You can add it to your vegetables. And it makes just a great add-on for your meal. See you next time. So if you wanna see more videos from us, click on the button and it's somewhere around either down this way or that way. Yeah, there's always more, so uh, join us. Subscribe. We'll see you soon.